Zika. Fallow. And of course, our mighty Reds. These are all the deer that call our island home. You know, there's a lot more than meets the eye with our Irish deer. A lot more than the simple grazers they're sometimes made out to be. As if you spend some time with them and watch them while they're relaxed. You'll be amazed by what you see. Like just how tender they are with their own young. Or watching the young male bucks during the rut, chancing their arm with the females. They never really get taken anyway, seriously. As it won't be until they're much older, until they have a harem of their own. But dear for me, they capture or embody the wilderness of Ireland, the wild side of Ireland. What's left of it anyway? And they simultaneously embody the wilderness that was, but also the wilderness that could be. The wilderness of Ireland that I would hope to envision for the future. And I really do see all of this in a passing stare of one of these deer. And to top it all off, they are also stunningly beautiful animals. So in this very brief video, we're going to look at each of our deer, very briefly. We'll be looking at our native reds, and along with that I'll be taking you back to my hometown, County Cavan, and looking at the fallow deer there. as this is where I really fell in love with these animals and I've spent many mornings and evenings watching them. And we can't forget about the Sika deer. We'll be casting an eye over them too. So relax for the next 10 minutes as I take you on a short journey to look at the three deer of Ireland. As I really feel Ireland wouldn't be the same without them. Not for me, anyhow. And our first stop is the Sika deer. This deer is probably out of the three the one I've spent the least amount of time watching. A Japanese breed brought to Ireland in 1860 and a little later released in parks across the country. And being a variant or distant cousin of the red deer, they can actually interbreed with the red deer and produce fertile young. Often overlooked, as they are the, our smallest breed of deer. But what they lack in size, they make up for with charisma. They're very energetic deer. And I found myself watching them quite a bit on a recent venture down to Killarney. They stole the show a couple of mornings. The male deer are small powerhouses stocky little deer but nonetheless beautiful and out of the three breeds in Ireland they have the smallest set of antlers as well but you can see they look quite like the red deer's antlers if not just a little bit smaller 
They also look a little punk rocky, if you ask me. But it was this doe and her calf that stole the show for me one morning. She was grooming her calf with so much tenderness, and you could see the calf really just lapping it up, just behind the ears there, all those hard to reach places. And with that, we're coming to the end of the secret deer segment. An often overlooked deer, but a deer I'll definitely be keeping an eye on, as I really found them engaging to watch. And now we're going to leave the Sika Deer of Killarney and we're going to head all the way back to my hometown of County Cal. So these deer I've been watching for many, many years. And I've learned much of my field craft from trying to get a better shot of these guys. They'd be the most numerous deer in Ireland. And it is, of course, the fallow deer. Introduced way back in the 13th century, these guys have well and truly become an integral part of Ireland at this stage, in my opinion. But that doesn't mean they make it easy on me. I usually get shots like these. As these guys do get hunted unfortunately, so they're extremely wary of people. So every moment with them for me always seems like a win. When they're relaxed and I'm getting to watch them, I know it's something special. And I know I could go to Phoenix Park and film the deer there, as they're rather tame, but I choose to film these deer. For example, when you encounter a young fawn, burning off all that pent-up energy that it's built up sitting in a forest all day, you know you're seeing something that not too many people have got to see. And you might have seen these deer in all different colours. I have a melanistic herd, which just means it's a black herd where I live. But every so often, genetics will play its card and you'll catch a glimpse of the lighter brown colour variation that would seem more suited to Southeast Asia, where these originate from. And the male's antlers could be described as palmate which is broad and flattened compared to other two species. The stags are impressive animals. And the biggest ones aren't too far off the size of a red deer. And fallow deer are known to have ferocious fights for the females during the rut. As you can see by this one, it's actually missing its right eye. In this part of the country, it seems that 90% of the fights happen at night. I hope to film a duel between these two some year. These deer personally hold a very special place in my own heart. And probably the best shot to date of them is probably this one here, where a big stag walks away with a doe and a fawn. And to top it all off, it even graces me with a bow.
But of course, there would be no Dear Video of Ireland without the inclusion of the next deer. Our only true native deer. The red deer. These animals could rival any in terms of beauty in my books. They're so regal. And the male stags demand respect. And I recently had the privilege to spend some time with these deer down in Killarney. And during the autumn, like all deer during the rut, the males will begin to gather females into a, a group called a harem. And they will do this to have access to the females when they're fertile, which will only happen for a couple of days a year. So competition can be fierce. And during this time, you can see the bigger males, excluding the smaller, younger males, out of the harem and out of the herd. I will have to admit, this is the closest thing to a fight I got this year. Two young bucks just trying out their new antlers. Maybe future champions. Watch this male pick out a young buck from the herd and exclude him into exile. And there were other males about but none seem to dare take on this champ. The following morning, just before dawn, I walked out onto the meadow and saw this male calling. Calling ownership of the meadow and all the females that may be in it. He had actually already seen off this younger male. An impressive male in his own right. And I assumed no one would dare challenge this male. And it wasn't until this huge male walked right by me. I didn't even see him until he was gone by. With 15 points or tines on his antlers. This is a deer with experience. And he walked straight up to the other calling male. And I could have sworn they were going to fight. But instead, they decided to size each other up. Walking side by side, measuring themselves up to one another to see who would win in a fight. And is there any need to fight if there would be a clear victor? And with the former stag Admitting defeat, he bows his head while the other holds his antlers high. It has been decided. The new stag is the owner of this meadow. And the previous silent male lets out a triumphant roar. And while I selfishly may have wanted to see these two male deer fight it out, the fact that they didn't means that this male gets to walk away with only a damaged ego. And as if it knew what had just transpired, the sun chose this moment to peek its head over the tree line. And as I watch this magnificent animal get lit up by the first rays of light of the morning sun, I could only be humbled by its presence. With it holding its antlers up high like that, 
It's even telling me he's the boss of this meadow. And this sadly brings us to the end of our video. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope I've helped you appreciate these beautiful animals that call Ireland home. As we haven't made it easy for them.